Hello, in this session, we are going to look at the different types of cloud deployment models we have. So there are different different ways that you can deploy your uh, cloud so that you can start using that cloud to set up your infrastructure. Now, before we start with this, just a quick recap of what we did in the last session. So in the last session, we looked at the different types of cloud computing we have. So we have the infrastructure as a service, we have the platform as a service, and then we have the software as a service. Now, once you're done deciding uh, which type of cloud computing you want to use, the next uh, ideal step would be for you to decide how you're going to deploy this so that you can start using this cloud to set up your infrastructure. Once again, before we start off with this session, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's get started with this. So generally, whenever we talk about your uh, cloud computing, there are different different ways that you can deploy this cloud computing to set up the infrastructure that you want. So generally, when we talk about your cloud deployment models, there are three main deployment models that are available. So we have the public cloud deployment model, we have the private cloud deployment model, and then we have the hybrid cloud deployment model. Now, depending on your use case, depending on your requirement, you can choose which uh, deployment model you want to use. Uh, we will talk a bit more on this in detail. So let's first talk about your public cloud. Now, your public cloud is one of the very commonly used cloud computing model that we have. And here you'll have a cloud service provider that will provide you all of your services like your computing resources, anything from your SaaS applications to virtual machines to complete enterprise grade infrastructure and development platforms and all of these will be available to the users over a public internet so basically your public cloud infrastructure is open to all anyone can use this public cloud to set up their infrastructure without any restrictions so these resources might be accessible for free or access might be sold according to subscription based or pay per usage pricing Model. So depending on the cloud platform you are using, the resources might be free to use or there might be a subscription based model or a pay as you go pricing model that you'll have to pay. So with your public cloud, the public cloud provider will own, manage and assume all the responsibility for the data center, including the hardware and infrastructure on which the customers, which is basically us, will have our workloads running and this uh, cloud service provider will typically provide high bandwidth network connectivity to ensure high performance and rapid access to the applications and data so that's basically your public cloud so again here uh, the the cloud service provider will provide us all the infrastructure we want and this is available for anyone to use the next deployment model we have is the private cloud now under the private cloud again here we will have a cloud service provider which will provide us all the cloud infrastructure and computing resources however with your private cloud the resources are dedicated and accessible by one customer only so it's a private access which is restricted not everyone can use the resources can use the infrastructure so for example you can think of it as a bus a public transportation which is open to all so anyone can use that resource to travel from one place to another place whereas we have your cab which is private so only a, a particular customer can use that and uh, you won't be sharing that with anyone else that's your private cloud so the private cloud combines many of the benefits so here also you get the same benefits the infrastructure as your cloud computing so you'll get the elasticity the scalability the ease of your service delivery uh, with also your access control security and resource customization of your on-premises infrastructure so your private cloud is typically hosted on premises within the customer's data center so one option you have is uh, you can ask the service provider to set up the infrastructure in your own data center or it can also be hosted in an independent cloud provider's infrastructure so you can also ask the service provider to host it in their own data center or you can have it on a rented infrastructure housed in an off-site data center so you can decide on that uh, based on the requirement that you have the next deployment we have, we have is the hybrid cloud model now under this it's simply a combination of your public cloud and private cloud so some of your uh, resources will be public and some of the resources will be private so hybrid cloud is just what it sounds like it's simply a combination of your public cloud and the private 
cloud environment. So specifically and ideally, a hybrid cloud connects an organization's private cloud services and the public clouds into a single flexible infrastructure for running the organization's applications and workloads. So under this, uh, uh, you, you can have some of your applications running in the private cloud and some of your applications in the public cloud depending on your use case, depending on the requirement. So the goal of your hybrid cloud is to establish a mix of public and private cloud resources and with a level of orchestration between them that gives an organization the flexibility to choose the optimal cloud for each application or for each workload and to move workloads freely between the two clouds as, as your circumstances change. So depending on the sensitivity of the application, depending on the workloads you're running, as a customer, you can choose whether you want to run the application on the public cloud or you want to run it on the private cloud. So this enables the organization to meet the technical and business objectives more effectively and cost effectively than it could be with your public cloud alone or the private cloud alone. So these are the three different types of cloud deployment models we have with your cloud computing. So once again, we have the public cloud, we have the private cloud, and then we have the hybrid cloud. Now, public cloud can be used when you don't have any sensitive applications and you're okay to uh, share the infrastructure with other people. And basically it is open to all. However, if you have any sensitive application like a financial application where you're dealing with money or any data which is very sensitive to you, like your personally identifiable information, then you will generally go with the private cloud because you're dealing with very sensitive data, with very sensitive information. You will use the private cloud, which will be only available for you to use. So that's about your cloud deployment models. That's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.